Hello everyone. I finally finished my self-destructing programmable lock. Um, I'm going to show that off right now. Um, so as you can see with the correct code entered, I push this button, the door opens. I push it again, the door closes. And actually inside also, there's a button. So from the inside I can open and close as well. And go through here and you can see the programmable switches. Uh, I moved them from this wall because then I realized you could just put a redstone torch on the other side and see which switches were programmed on, so now they're kind of isolated from the outside. Um, so let me go ahead and show you what happens when you enter the wrong code in. So let's go ahead and close the door. So let's say I unflip this lever and I'm going to push the button. I get, th I get three tries and on the third incorrect try, water will flow down. So that's one try two tries, three tries, and now if everything, yep, there we go, water's flowing down, I can no longer open the door, and so basically what this has done is if I run around here to the top of the lock, things got pretty ugly really fast up here, um, but it's just the same water circuit from this destructing lock um, up there. And let me fix this real quick. So basically the way this works is I've taken a couple of inputs. Um, one input is, uh, this is the incorrect lock input coming through here. So if the lock is fed or is, is not correct, this is on. And this input is the button input. So if the lock is incorrect and the button is pressed, it goes to this AND gate which feeds into a pulse generator. And the pulse generator I get, uh, I got these signs here to help me out. Um, this, this is the first pulse and this is the second pulse. And the first pulse will go to try to open up this AND gate over, over here. And the second pulse will set this RS NOR latch. And so the first pulse will try to open this and because the, the first time it goes through, this will be off so this won't go through. But the second, the second pulse comes along and turns on the NOR latch. And so that means the second time I hit the button, this comes over here and goes through the AND gate and sets this RS NOR latch. And at the same time, the original button signal comes around first and hits that. And so once this AND that goes, goes through here, and basically it does that to, you know, for, for three presses. Once three presses have completed, it comes out of the AND gate here, and it goes up here, and it goes over here, and it triggers the water. Um, this is probably not the best way to do it, this is the only way I could really figure out how to do it. And I'm not very good at like squashing things to a very space efficient way right now, there's a lot of uh, wires that run really long distances, a lot of repeaters. So maybe I'll improve upon that later, but right now I'm just very glad this took me like a day to finish. Uh, but now that it's fixed, all you have to do really, from the inside, repair this. Go into through the service door, and it's just these two little things that got damaged. And now the door opens again. Alright, thank you very much for watching.